I thought we had a, a very good preseason um, this fall. We had um, six freshmen to kind of integrate into our program, and our upperclassmen did a great job of focusing in on the little things in the weight room, in our uh, conditioning sessions. You know, they played pickup. We had very good individual workouts. Um, but a lot of it was just trying to get to know each other, was trying to develop a work ethic, show the freshmen um, what it's really going to take to be a Cornell women's basketball player. And uh, I, I liked what I saw. They, they came out of it with a, a lot of um, good connections. They came out with, a, with great attitudes. They were in great shape. Um, we've improved in a lot of areas. The upperclassmen improved on their skills. Um, the freshmen showed what they can add. Um, so the preseason, we were obviously very, very pleased. And I think leading into our first practice and in the last couple weeks, um, we were extremely conditioned. We were in great shape. And, and we didn't really have to focus in on that. The first couple weeks of practice, we were able to just go full speed right into the basketball. Well, so far, it's been um, we've had some pleasant surprises. We've had a few freshmen that have stepped up and earn playing time. They're going to earn playing time. Uh, Claire Fitzpatrick, freshman from Connecticut, has done just a great job of soaking things up. She's like a sponge. Um, she's, you know, versatile forward. She's been able to, to play inside out. She's picking up things quickly. She's extremely competitive. She works very hard um, on the floor for loose balls in the right places at the right time, which is um, pretty unusual for a freshman. So we've been very happy with her. Taylor Flynn, freshman from Long Island, has been um, a, a nice addition to our guard core. She's coming in, you know, able to score off the dribble. She's able to score in transition. Very good passer, I think, with time. Um, you know, we're going to see the team really learn how to play with her. Right now, we, we still make a lot of mistakes. We're not ready for the way she passes the ball or the way she comes off screens. Um, but, you know, she's a competitor, too. So those two have done a, a nice job uh, early on in the season. Um, our three seniors have had a terrific preseason. Lauren Benson, Virginia McMonagall, Ali, Ali Fedor, which um, a lot of experience, but just have been good leaders, you know, playing, playing hard at practice, leading by example. Um, you know, our, our heart and soul is going to be Lauren Benson. She's someone that, you know, can put us on her back and, and lead us to where we need to go. She competes every day. She's aggressive on the offensive end, aggressive on the defensive end. She's a really good teammate. Um, you know, um, she's so unselfish. She's able to distribute the ball. She's able to you know, be at the right place at the right time, and she's unselfish. So we're looking for big things from her, and we've been very happy so far with where she's been and where her game has, has kind of developed into. Um, you know, our, our sophomore core with Allie, Ellie Munson, Allison App, Christine Vlasic, um, they earned a lot of playing time last year as freshmen and, and I do think it's a work in progress. You know, we, we've seen great strides from last season, um, still a ton of room for improvement, but we're looking for big things from them. I think they're going to really be able to compete, um, be able to, to provide an inside presence and, you know, that's something that isn't where we need it to be right now, but it, hopefully by, by Ivy play in January it, it will get there and that's what we're going to use this non-conference season for, to get better. Uh, to work on our weaknesses, to, to make our team um, complete and, and balanced, and hopefully uh, we'll get a good start with that on Friday. Uh, Duquesne University, very good team. Um, we had an opportunity to play them last season, um, and we're looking forward to, to the rematch this year uh, on Friday night. Um, they lost their starting point guard, started for four years, a very, very good point guard, all-conference player. But they, they returned four of their top five leading scorers. They're um, in, a, in a position you know, to, to kind of take off from where they were last year. Um, we're going to have our hands full. They have terrific balance, um, really strong inside post play, um, guards that can score in transition, three-point shooters. Um, you know, Kerry Pryor is, a, is an all-round athletic guard that can pull up in transition, take you to the hoop, hit the open three very active on defense. Um, I think she's going to be the leader for them this year. 
And we have some young freshmen coming in that will help fill in the point guard position. But, you know, they're going to be a good challenge. They like to play up-tempo. Um, they scored over 100 points in an exhibition game last week. So they definitely have the ability to score. Um, but I also believe they have the ability to kind of create havoc on the defensive end. So this is going to be a great challenge for us. Um, last year we went down there, really didn't um, establish a, a post game, didn't establish um, a presence, you know, on the offensive end, and we struggled to score. And that's that's going to be a challenge for us, you know, this game. I, our team remembers that game vividly. Um, and we, we just need to do a better job. We need to come in and, and try to establish um, our, like I said, our post game early. Uh, I think Lauren Benson and Allie and, and Virginia um, are excited about the challenge to compete against this guard core. Um, we just need to, we need to come in and, and try to get off on the right foot um, and start off, you know, looking to score early, looking to get to the basket, not being so passive, not looking for someone else on the court to make to, to, to take over or make the shots or, or make the passes. So if everyone can do their job, I think it'll be a, a really good challenge and a good test for us to kind of gauge uh, where we have to go in the next month or so. We have a quick turnaround this uh, this weekend. We play Ithaca College on Sunday um, at home. It's nice to have two home games, uh, Friday and Sunday, so we're looking forward to that. Um, we have all the respect in the world for Ithaca. They have a tradition of winning. They had a terrific season last last year. We didn't have the opportunity to play them, um, so you know we're not as familiar with the personnel. But um, guard oriented, you know, they, they lost their leading scorer, who was a post player, um, very very good post player. But they have a, a scrappy um, guard tandem. Um, senior leaders, Catherine Bixby, is, is have having a great career. Um, we've seen her in our, our passive cross through the recruiting process so we're a little familiar with what, what she does but you know traditionally Ithaca has just been one of those teams that scraps in every possession um, you know and, and it'll be a tough challenge you know we're, we're looking forward to being able to respond after a Friday night game um, and, and just kind of see again where we're, where we're going as a team how we're developing what identity we're going to create for ourselves um, you know, with, with Ithaca's guards, they can shoot. Um, they're very uh, up-tempo. They like to run the ball um, up and down the floor. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. That's going to help us prepare for the Ivy League. And that's what all these non-conference games are for. You know, we want to get better so we can compete in January for a championship. And, and you know, Ithaca's going to provide that challenge for us. Um, you know, they're going to they're gonna challenge us on the in the transition. They're challenge us on the defensive end. They mix some things up. So um, we're looking forward to Sunday, and uh, I'm excited to see how we respond, um, you know, on a quick turnaround.